Okay, Google. Play Cooley on Cars. Sure, playing Coolio on Spotify. Well, I guess there are worse misunderstandings. If you've got smart speakers throughout your life, all over your house, I bet, maybe uh, one or two at work, but not in your car, why not? You can do it now. I'm going to show you how, but I'm also going to show you why you may not need to. I brought along two examples of a newish category of in-car accessories that go after the smart voice role while you're driving. Over here is the newish Amazon Echo Auto. This guy's obviously an Alexa device for your car. And this one goes after the Google side of the house. This is going to bring Google Assistant in. It's a Rove Bolt by Anchor. You know Anchor for charging products probably. So both of these do about the same thing. They're both smart speakers for your car except they don't have speakers. They use the speakers in your car. Why not? There's more of them and they sound better. So where's Apple in all this? There is no analogous product on the Siri side. There's no aftermarket dedicated Siri speaker that I know of anyway that goes in your car to break Siri out of your phone. Apple keeps it in their devices. Okay, first of all, here's the Alexa device in the car. Got to get it right side up so it's smiling. Uh, What you've got here is a mic mute button, a general function button here, typically used for setup, and then you've got these eight little holes. Each one of those has a microphone, and by having an array of microphones, they're able to do some noise cancellation and some adaptive listening. So this is different than you're going to find on your phone, so there's one advantage right there. It also comes with this kind of mount dealio that you'd want to stick in your vent. I hate these kind of things. I don't like hanging things on my vent. I prefer to dispense with that and use whatever kind of a magnetic mount works in your car. I've got this one here on the dash. There we go. That's more like it. Now, once you got the device in place and we're about to set it up, know that one of the things we're going to set up is this operating as a Bluetooth device, but it can also be a Bluetooth bridge. In other words, if you have a car that doesn't have Bluetooth but has an aux jack, this can function as a Bluetooth bridge from your phone to this and then via cable into your aux jack. This is not the aux cable. This is the nasty power cable you'll always need. They do have a way to dress that if you're using their adapter, which I don't like, which has this thing underneath it to grab the cable, but I'd rather have no cable to grab. Hello. Let's get rolling. Add a device. Let that run in the background. Sure. Here's a playlist you might like. She's always getting smarter and adding new skills. Okay, our Alexa setup is done. The device is communicating with my phone. My phone's communicating via Bluetooth. We got it all hooked up with the audio system. I'm going to defeat my mic defeat, so reactivate the mic, and let's see how this thing works for a set of four likely car commands. Alexa, navigate to CBS Interactive in San Francisco. like directions to CBS Interactive on 235 2nd Street in San Francisco. Yes, I would. Very good. Alexa, take me to the nearest gas station. Would you like directions to Corte Madera Chevron Service Center on 90 Madera Boulevard in Corte Madera? No. Okay, so that's pretty good. So far, two out of two. Sorry, I couldn't help. You got to simmer down. Let's continue on our battery of four questions. Alexa, play 07. Shuffling your songs by 07 on Amazon Music. Well, of course it's Amazon Music. And let's try one more. Alexa, add motor oil to my shopping list. I added motor oil to your shopping list. By the way, I can learn your voice to improve your shopping experience. Would you like to try it? I don't think I like you that much, no. Okay, so, so far, four out of four, Alexa did very well and handed off to at least a reasonable, if not the optimal app to do everything. Uh, It's going to have its own ways of skewing the table toward Amazon, obviously, particularly in the music selection. Now, notice everything I can do with this, I can do with this. In other words, I don't need to have this add-on, although it ostensibly has better microphones to reject noise. I've not ever really had a problem with any smartphone hearing me while I'm driving. I'm not that far away. My car is not an open air car. So let's take a look at the Bolt, which accomplishes that and perhaps more. Connect. 
don't know why, but it's not going to work. Why aren't you connecting? Ay, ay, ay. Painful, utterly painful. We're gonna pair our row of bolt. Hopefully it'll work this time. Dear God, will you please pair? There we go. Okay, so I just finished what I gotta tell you was a tedious repeated effort setup. It was way easier setting up that Alexa device. Gotta tell you. Now I'm gonna put my phone here. Screen is off. Okay, Google. Navigate to the nearest gas station. Okay, I think we're stuck. That never happens without this. Cancel. Okay, Google. I don't know what that even means. It's ringing, but I have no calls coming in. Okay, Google. Navigate to CBS Interactive in San Francisco. I have no faith this is working. Okay, Google. Now it's just dark. Okay, Google. Navigate to CBS Interactive in San Francisco. Okay, CBS Interactive. Head north on Paradise Drive toward Tampa okay. Pius Drive. Took a couple of tries, finally worked. Let's try our next one. Okay, Google. Navigate to the nearest gas station. Okay, Porta Madera Unical 76. Notice how it was a little more elegant going through Google. Google automatically took the command and loaded up the navigation. It didn't ask me an intermediate question. Do you want to go to such and such a station? I asked you for the nearest gas station. I assume you're not stupid. Yes, just take me there. Okay, Google. Play 07. Playing 07 on Spotify. Again, the command was carried out fine. Let's try one more. Okay, Google. Add motor oil to my shopping list. Okay, I've added motor oil to your shopping list. About the same as Amazon. All right, what have we learned here? Uh, this is an interesting fussiness added to an Android phone. An Android phone has all the functions that this device brings you, with the exception of the fact that this has some microphones that are going to do some supposedly better noise cancellation and such. If you had a car that only has an aux jack, as I mentioned, this will be a way for you to go Bluetooth from the phone to here and then aux into your aux jack, bringing ahead an otherwise dated head unit. But I've already retrofitted Bluetooth to this dated head unit, so I didn't need that in this case which is fine because it saved me an aux cable. But to be honest, I don't need this thing at all. It's all built into my phone, which is one of the key learnings from both of these products. You've got a speaker, you've got a microphone, you've got connectivity, you've got Bluetooth, it's already in your phone. These add-on devices are kind of a weird category of almost gilding the lily. Now let's talk about the obviously missing entrant here. Where's Apple? Where's their solution? They don't allow any of these kind of devices. Apple keeps Siri on their products, as you know. So there is no Siri add-on, whether you'd need it or not. Generally related to all this is Apple's Do Not Disturb mode, which is kind of clever. It uses some various inputs and signals to figure out if you have a phone in your car while you're driving and goes into Do Not Disturb mode so you're not distracted by it. The weather looks good today. There's also Siri Eyes Free. If you've got one of a few recently manufactured cars, it may have factory built-in technology where the voice button on the wheel that normally calls up that dreadful automaker voice command system, if you long press that same button, it brings up Siri instead once you've got your car set up. Now you've got access to a different voice system. You didn't have to buy anything that you had to plug into your car, but you had to buy a car. Now there's one last distinction I want to make that is germane to this conversation, though not strictly about voice. You've got Android Auto and you've got Apple CarPlay, right? In Android Auto, you can launch it as a standalone mode on a phone, which is different than CarPlay. CarPlay does not do this. CarPlay only works with a factory or aftermarket CarPlay head unit that's actually in the dashboard. We've shown you a number of those. Whereas here on Android Auto, I can do all kinds of things that are going to be automotive-centric, very much shaped and made less distracting, driven by voice, and I don't have to have any connection to a head unit. 
this becomes my head unit. That's a key part of the overall thing that I bet you're trying to accomplish by using in-car voice is simplicity and safety. So know that you've got a big divide in terms of religion between Apple and Android and how they approach safety of a device in the car. Apple says go to DND mode. Android says how about we reshape the phone so it's more relevant and safer to use while driving. Although clearly this is more distraction than when Apple is in do not disturb. In sum, these in-car smart speakers can add better microphones and a Bluetooth to aux jack bridge function if your older car needs that. Otherwise, your phone is probably all you need to have a smart assistant as your co-pilot.